right, so guys, and welcome back to a Tuesday. Let me just say straight away, I do not know when a group is not considered rookie anymore, okay? <laughs> so what I did is that I chose three girl group members who are foreigners. My reason to focus on those foreigners is that, you know, I realized that K-pop is becoming more and more international and the fact that K-pop is bringing those international members into their groups is just so amazing. I just feel like we are already in like in the beginning of a new generation in K-pop and the fact that it is becoming more and more international, I love it. I love it to be honest. So just because I'm a foreigner and I wanted to show appreciation for foreigners too, you know, I thought, why not? So without further ado, let's just go ahead. So the first member I wanted to talk about is Lisa from Blackpink. So they are still rookie, I guess, because they debuted last year. And so Lisa is Thai. She was born in Thailand. She was born in 97. And I'm just here like, wait, she's two years lot, like younger than me. And I'm just here like, what am I doing with my life? This girl is so freaking talented, like everything. She is the whole package. She dances amazingly. I don't know, she is like one of those person who is a natural born uh, dancer, you know, and I just look at her in awe. Like she is amazing. Like, look at this. Come on. Yeah. Make a can she does amazingly she also sings and raps and she is multilingual and she is beautiful you know the whole package I'm talking about like she is everything <laughs> she is such a cute like fluff ball like look like her her cheeks and everything like I love her <laughs> so moving on from Thailand to China this time I want to talk about the member of Uju Sonya Song So. So this is the Korean name. I'm not going to try to pronounce her Chinese name because you know I don't want to like mispronounce it and seem disrespectful. So Song So. <laughs> she is probably one of the most popular member, I guess, because she was in a lot of like variety reality shows and she showcased her ability to do tumblings and how flexible she is. You know, she was born in China in 98, if I'm not mistaken. And you know, we know that Chinese people are really into gymnastics and dancing and how flexible they are. And Song So is, I would say, the new generation, like the new Victoria, you know? <laughs> both of them are beautiful, both of them are talented, both of them are Chinese, and both of them are freaking flexible. Look at this. How can one's body do this? Like I it is beyond my understanding. <laughs> I cannot understand. I cannot understand. She does this like it was like a game for her. Like it is so natural. I mean, I I'm, I guess she was doing this since she is like a baby. But still, this is impressive. <laughs> and today's last member I wanted to talk about is Mina from Twice. Now I know Twice debuted like in the end of uh, 2015, but since they are still winning rookie award, I guess I can still consider them as rookie. I don't know. <laughs> So Mina was born not in Japan, even though she is Japanese, she was born in Texas, United States. And I didn't know that. That was a big surprise, actually. I know Twice has like a lot of foreigners in the group, you know. Julie is Taiwanese. Uh, they have three Japanese members, Mina, Momo, and 
Sana. So three of them are uh, Japanese and I didn't know which one to take. But you know, I ended up with the amazing dancer Mina. You know, uh, she is born, she was born also in 97, which makes her a friend of Lisa and it, ha it just happened that both of them are a freaking amazing dancers. Like, what the hell? She is a ballet dancer, which means that she is so freaking professional, okay? Let me say this right away. Her expression, her face expression when she is dancing ballet and when she is dancing twice is like two completely different people. Like, look at this. Oh, I'm so girls are freaking talented this is the hope and the new generation of k-pop right there you know this is the new k-pop <laughs> the fact that more and more they are including you know foreigners into their groups and everything i just feel like i want to show my appreciation to this new trend i guess because it just shows how growing the k-pop mentality is you know and i just love it i just love it we can see the evolution of everything and those girls here for example those three girls are what is going we're going to see a lot in the future in the k-pop industry and i just love it they are so freaking talented they work their asses off to be here right now they are the full package so i guess they need to be recognized more and be more appreciated you know so this is why mainly i'm doing this video so yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i will see you soon bye bye